Buon pomeriggio. So today we're going to uh, make another recipe that was requested and uh, this is uh, puttanesca sauce. So what's uh, in the puttanesca sauce? Okay, is extra virgin olive oil. One of um, my extra virgin olive oil, the ortice or the olea or of course any other extra virgin. Then we have garlic, anchovies, capers, black olives, little bit of a parsley, some chopped tomatoes or this beautiful cherry tomato from Calabria, Gruppo Muraca. Then we have a little bit of a vegetable stock, a little bit of a tomato passata, if you want to. Okay, and uh, then we have the tuna here. And basically that's it, okay? You can use, oh, oh I forgot. We also have a little bit of diavolo, peperoncino from Calabria, still from the Muraca group, okay? Sapori antichi. And then we have tuna here, and that's it, basically, okay? So you can use this sauce for pasta, okay? Linguini, spaghetti puttanesca, penne puttanesca, or with any fish, chili and sea bass, salmon, tuna. In this case here, I like the tuna. Okay, let's start. Okay, so here we got the tuna. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper for the tuna. Okay, and a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and we let them marinate it for, you know, a couple of minutes, like this. Okay, in this part here, now, I have extra virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic and two anchovies. Okay. We do this recipe for two people, okay? I'm going to add the capers and the black olives. Okay, and we cook it together. Now I'm taking a little diavolo and I'm gonna cut it a little bit of it. Put everything together. I'm going to add the cherry tomato. Okay, I mix it up nicely. We crush it every day. Okay. Okay. So basically, as you can see, the sauce can be almost done, like that, okay? No season is needed, except a little bit of oregano, okay? So now, we need it to let these become like a sauce. If you want, you can just drop the pasta right here, and you're done, okay? But we're gonna make a little bit more saucy. I'm gonna add a little bit of my tomato passata, a little bit, okay? Not too much, for two people about three spoons, and a little bit of a vegetable stock. And now, basically, we cook it for like a minute, okay? And we let it reduce it down. In the meantime, this is reducing. I'm taking the tuna, and I'm searing. Okay, so now this tuna, I'm gonna cook it medium ray, or ray, or black and blue. If you want a black and blue, basically it's almost done, okay? You just turn them around like this, huh? and it's done with black and blue, okay? okay? If you want a medium ray, you're going a little bit more. Usually for medium ray, about 30 seconds in both sides, okay? For uh, ray, 20 seconds in both sides, for black and blue, 10 seconds in each side, okay? So the tuna is basically, for me, is ready. All right, so if you have a pasta or penne, the only thing you have to do is put them inside here. Add some parsley. And the sauce is done. So you can serve this sauce with any fish or pasta, okay? Now let's set up this dish. So we're taking the sauce and we put it in the bottom of this dish, beautiful dish.
and then I position the tuna on top. This is a beautiful tuna puttanesca. Buon appetito, and we're going to serve this with a beautiful terre sacre falanghina. Beautiful wine, crispy, and it goes very well with this dish.